Hi guys! Welcome to another streaming safari here at the Lion Habitat Ranch. I'm going to actually turn my mic on so you can hopefully hear me better. Can you hear me now? Hear me now? Oh, hi guys! <laughs> uh, I am here today, oh, and now I'm coming out. I am here today with Ringo, you guys have seen before, but I don't think you've seen him in a while, so we thought we'd bring him out for you. Um, first off, of course, I'd like to thank anybody who's made it. What are you doing? Excited. We're very uh, excited about streaming safari. Um, who made any donations to us or come out to see us or um, uh, contributed anything us, to on, us on Amazon Smile, all those links are below. So thank you so much. We do appreciate it. And just a reminder, we are open every week, Monday, uh, Thursday through Monday, 10 to 2. Yeah, I should teach you how to say that, huh? Thursday through Monday, 10 to 2. <laughs> And today, we are going to be doing a streaming safari about keratin. All kinds of different things are made out of keratin. Most specifically, what most people think of is your hair, but all kinds of other stuff is made out of keratin too. And that's another great reason to have Ringo here with us. His beak is made of keratin. Can I touch your beak? His beak is made out of keratin, and his toes are made out of keratin, and even this covering on his feet is made out of keratin. And what keratin is, is basically your protein that folds into different shapes on your skin and on your fingernails and even on the outside of your hair, it makes things that kind of look like scales, like really, really microscopic scales. And it helps those things be really, really, really strong. So we have some examples of things with keratin in them today. And we're gonna see how strong they are. So I'm gonna hand Ringo over to Megan. Everyone say bye to Ringo. <laughs> Megan's gonna take him and go do bird chat. You can probably go over by Ozzy. And Two other things that we have that are made of keratin are actually Ozzy's tail, so this thing right there, it's pretty thick. It's kind of thick like your fingernail is thick. And then we have some lion mane as well. And so I'm gonna take a piece of each of these and we're gonna see how strong they are. And you can do this with your own hair or other people's hair. Uh, make sure, I don't know, that it's washed first. <laughs> make sure. Uh, everything's nice and clean when you're taking care of that stuff, of course. And, uh... It's somewhere. I think Meg can grab one of the bags. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe? Alright. Well, we'll find it. Okay. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna get your piece of hair, and again, you can compare your hair to your parents' hair, or your friend's hair, or whatever and you're going to tie one end of it to a pencil or anything similar and then the other end you're going to want to tie to a paper clip so that you can hook it onto a plastic bag and then what we're going to do this one is Ozzy's and then this one is the lion hair set up exactly the same way it's a lot thinner than Ozzy's tail and what do we think? I think I'm gonna do the lion hair first because I think that Ozzy's tail is probably gonna hold up a little better. What do you think, Denise? I think so. It's pretty, it's pretty sturdy. It's pretty sturdy. All right. So we're gonna try the lion hair first. And so what we're gonna do is make sure our bag and everything are set up. And then you can fill this with whatever you want. I'm gonna fill it with some more paper clips you can fill it with pennies, which might be a good idea. You'll get there uh, to breaking point pretty fast. And you're just gonna see how much weight it can hold. So I'm gonna start off, actually gonna stick, let's stick this AAA battery in there first. Oh, the lion hair is getting stuck to me. Where'd you get the lion hair? From our lions. But how? <laughs> we got it when we brushed them. Our lions get regular baths here at the Lion Habitat Ranch. And a lot of them let us brush out their whole mane. Some of them really, really enjoy it. And so we get a lot of fur from that because they're very, very furry. I don't know if you can see Bentley back there today. He's in his air conditioning. He's quite furry. So I'm gonna put these kind of heavier things in first. And you can either hold it up like what I'm doing or set it like between two stacks of books. Oh, and that was it. <laughs> that was it. So it'll hold a little bit less than what I put in here. And then you're going to want to get a scale and we'll see how much weight that lion hair was able to hold. Is that 1.4 ounces? That's pretty good. That's pretty good for a piece of hair. 
All right, let's try Ozzy's tail. I, I, apparently I bet too much on the lion hair. I thought it was my whole pork. Shame on me. And honestly, it's holding a little bit more because I have to hold up the paper clip too. So, you know, give a little more credit to that, the lion hair. All right, now Ozzy's tail. Hopefully, what's not going to break first is the knots that I put in this. <laughs> That's what you gotta be careful about is if the knots slip. All right, we'll start with the battery again. Okay, we're still staying up. There's some paper clips. I think this is gonna hold a lot, guys. I need more hands. Megan shouldn't have left. <laughs> okay. More? This hair is tough. How'd you get Ozzy's hair? Ozzy leaves little hairs for us in his barn. Just like us, his hair just kind of falls out sometimes. And sometimes his tail hair falls out and we get to find it like a little treasure in his barn or in his yard. And it's very thick. As you can see, it's gonna take this bracelet to <laughs> all of these paper clips. Is it still holding tight? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And Ozzy does use this thick tail hair to kind of swat his sides and keep those flies off of him that are all roaming around here in the summer. I almost dropped it off the pencil, guys. <laughs> Wow, look at that, guys. Look at how much weight that's going to hold. I'm going to have to put all of my paper clips in here before this is going to get anywhere close to breaking. Once I'm out of paper clips, we're just going to weigh it and see how much Aussie's, a single strand of Ozzy's tail hair can hold. This is strong. All right, that's about it. <laughs> that's, about, that's about all I got. <laughs> what do we have here? Over a pound. Ozzy's tail hair can hold up over a pound, guys. That's crazy. So you can see how thick it is. Even if I pull on it, especially if I'm pulling on it straight, it's, it takes a lot of force for me to break that piece. And you can even see if, I don't know if you can get a close-up shot of that. I can try. Like, how your hair, if it's if it splinters, like we get split ends, Ozzy's hair does the same thing, and those are kind of those proteins all breaking up. There's a few other things included in hair, like fats and um, melanin, which is what gives it its color. But that keratin protein and the structure that it's made into makes something really, really strong. And so you can do this experiment with a lot of different things. And what I would also suggest is get multiple pieces of hair and put them together and then see how strong they are as you add them up. Because if you have a big ponytail, it's gonna be way stronger than if you have just one or two pieces of hair by themselves. So you can kind of play with this experiment a little bit. It's really easy to do. You don't have to have a lot of supplies. Um, and you can compare different things that are made out of keratin. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next week.